I found it odd I was sitting there joking with a random girl about my life and enjoying it. Possibly it was because she didn't believe a word I said, even though some of it was true. Where's your bodyguard? She lifted her eyebrows dramatically. Is he waiting for your signal to pounce? Take me out for my insolent behavior? No, you're safe. He's having breakfast down the street. He'll be along shortly. If I change my mind, though, you'd best run. Are you serious? Her mouth was agape. About having a bodyguard? Yes. Wow. I've never met anyone with a bodyguard before today. It's not a big deal. She snorted. Yeah, we all have one. Mine must be having his nails done right now. He likes them short so they look good when he holds his gun. Once again, I chuckled. She glanced at her watch. Oh, shit, I'm late. I watched, amused, as she slammed her laptop shut, gathered up her papers, and shoved it all into the larger rucksack haphazardly, yanking on the zipper to get it closed. It took everything in me not to tell her that if she organized things better, her possessions would last longer and be in better shape. The rucksack was falling apart. Both of them were. I wondered why she carried so many items that she needed, two rucksacks. I reminded myself it was none of my business. Seeing my car pull up outside, I stood. I'll see you out. She waved her hand in front of her face. Oh, Lord, such manners. Smirking, I indicated she should go ahead of me. At the door, I reached around her, letting her out first. Outside, Aiden stood by the car, his arms folded over his mammoth chest. Whoa, is that him? It is. Well, you're safe, I believe. I think I'm good. She turned and her hair lifted in the breeze, the color vivid in the sun, a mixture of blonde and brown that swirled around her face. I had the strangest urge to lift my hand and tuck the loose strands behind her ear, Instead, I cleared my throat and stepped back. Thank you for allowing me to share your table, Emmy. Have a good day. A look of disappointment crossed her face. Then she nodded. You too, Rigid. I am sorry about tripping you. Try to use your smile a little more, okay? Ridge. It's Bentley Ridge. She ignored me. Can I tell you something, Rigid? My name is Emmy. It's not. She leaned up on tiptoes, close to my ear her small hand resting on my forearm. No, it's Winifred. Winifred? Yep, Winifred Windfall. That means, really, I'm Freddie Money. So Bentley Ridge isn't that bad. I could feel the amusement growing in my chest once more. I felt the brush of her lips against my cheek. Have a good day. She spun on her heel and walked away, peeking over her shoulder with a wave. I watched her until she disappeared around the corner, my grin fading as she did.